ways to move abroad and get out of the United States. After my video about Roe vs. Wade, there were a ton of comments being like, girl, how did you get out? So I'm going to give you a few different possible ways you can get out. Of course, there's more than what I'm telling you here. These are just the ones I'm aware of. Number one is you're gonna just check out a few different countries that you might like to move to and go onto their embassy's website and figure out what types of visas they offer. You might be surprised, even if you're not rich, like maybe your country has an exchange program for people under 35 and it'll be fairly easy. There's lots of different visas for each country. And a quick look on the embassy's website will give you the main types of visas. And you can see if you just automatically basically qualify for one of them without having to put in a lot of effort, that would be your best bet. Obviously being born rich, <laughs> that will just solve so many of life's problems. There are lots of visas that are basically just like rich people visas because they want people with money to move to their country. Uh, that was not my case, but that's a pretty common one. Student visas are relatively easy to get, especially if you don't have a criminal record and you're a university student really really look into that maybe even look into doing a master's abroad something like that because once you get your foot in the door and you're living in these other countries a lot of times you can i won't say easily but with effort you're able to switch that student visa into like a longer term visa number three you might be a citizen of another country or have the right to citizenship without realizing it so think if you have any uh, parents or grandparents that have immigrated from another country or who are even American citizens that were just born in another country and see if you have the right. I had a few friends recently who were surprised to find out that they had the right to Italian citizenship and if you have European citizenship in any of those countries like you can move around the European Union pretty easily. You'll just have to start the paperwork now. I did a video explaining that I am a dual citizen Canadian by birth and I had <laughs> several people in the comments that were like wait a minute does this mean i'm also canadian and i'm like just google it but there were people that learned from my video that they actually had a nationality for a different country and they were very surprised so that could apply to you as well maybe not but it's definitely worth worth looking into because it will save you a lot of time and money if you get a visa that way some countries are looking for specific types of immigrants with certain types of diplomas so if you're going for the long game here you can look and getting a degree in one of the fields that these countries are specifically looking to recruit for. That's always an option. And of course the disclaimer that this is not going to be realistic for everybody. There will be people with circumstances where this would be just so incredibly hard and overwhelming and not everybody would have the privilege of being able to leave the US. I know sometimes we talk about the money thing. You can also just be incredibly lucky, <laughs> but you either need to have like luck, like I had a lot of luck, or you need like at least a bit of money.